Hi, my name is Jack Bannon, and I'm an engineer at Aldebaran. Aldebaran is a robotics company that specializes in humanoid robots like now here in order to teach you to learn how to program. Now, I'm here today to talk to you about a really exciting opportunity that we're putting on called the Now Challenge. The Now Challenge is a competition for high school students to learn how to program solving a series of four different problems. Now, this competition, registration is from now until March 15th, so if you're interested, you want to sign up fairly soon. Now this goes until the end of June, in which case the finals are being held in Longmont, Colorado. Now, we want to stress that you don't actually have to have robots at your school in order to participate. All you need is a team of two to five students, as well as one teacher that wants to spearhead and lead the group. Using our software, you can use a simulated version of our robot in order to accomplish all these tasks. Now the exciting part is, at the end of, the, at the end of June, when this competition is being held, Students are going to get together and showcase all of their solutions in front of a panel of jurors. Now, at the end of this weekend, this is being held, these jurors are going to go ahead and rate based on how well you accomplish these solutions, as well as the creativity that went into it. Now, the grand prize, the team that scores the most overall points for all these different competitions, is actually going to earn themselves a now for their high school. So, it's a pretty big deal. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the different problems that we have, the different rules, as well as going into a little bit of a tutorial for the software so you guys have an idea of what you're getting into. All right, first I'm going to outline the four games that we're asking students to solve, and then I'll get into the software. So the first game is called Play With Me. Play With Me is a very open-ended game where we're asking students to program the robot to do some kind of interactive game, to play with the user. It can involve voice commands, it can involve tactile commands, it can involve movements, any or all of the above. We want students to be creative with this, but also display a level of programming knowledge and cause an effect that will basically create a fun game. They can have external objects that the now interacts with, but it's not a necessity. The next game is called Movie Time. Now this one is a little more specific than what it asks for. The now will then at first ask the user series of questions in order to narrow down what kind of movie they want to watch. So imagine you have a database that the user uh, has movies that they enjoy watching. They could be different genres and the now might ask, you know, do you want to watch adventure, comedy, romantic, etc. When it hears one of those choices, it can narrow down the list of movies. It can then pose a series of questions to narrow it down to one exact movie from that database. Once it does that, things get a little more complicated. At this point, we're asking now to then connect to a remote computer to then find and locate that movie that we're going to provide the computer as well as all the files and have now basically do a socketed Python command to locate those and then play that movie on that computer. Now, this sounds a little hard and we understand. However, we're going to have documentation for how to do this. We're going to have a series of forum questions, people from out of Baron, engineers like myself on standby to help get you moving along in the right direction. Once now is playing that movie, we want now to sit down, turn off all of these LED lights so as to not be distracting, and then enjoy a nice movie with your robot. The third game is called Now Boogie. And so for those that have seen a robot before, you might have noticed that it is quite good at dancing. That's one of the things we pride ourselves on. And for this competition, we want students to devi develop their own dance for the robot. We want them to program their own movements, put in, upload their own song, and sync up the song to their dance movements. Now, that sounds uh, fun, and it is, but there are also some caveats that we want them to consider. So with any, any, anybody that dances, there is a chance that it falls over, be it a human or a robot. We want the students to keep that in mind and not only design methods for the robot to counteract his balance, so if he's you know, moving a little bit too fast, that he can you know, counteract and go back to a more balanced state. If he does happen to fall over, we want him to pause where he is in that song, get himself back up, and resume dancing. Again, we know this sounds a little bit hard to accomplish, but keep in mind, we're going to be on standby to help you move along. This game, we want to focus not only on the programming aspects, but also the physical aspects of the robot. You know, again, many of you who are doing this competition aren't going to have a physical robot next to you, so you have to rely on the simulation. Look at our documentation, and we'll show you methods in order to help balance the robot, even if you don't have the robot there with you. 
The last competition is called Me and You. Now, this one is more of a social media type of a game. We want kids and these students that are getting together to do these competitions to document everything that they're doing from day one with these. You know, we expect to see pictures of brainstorming sessions. We want to see marketing, uh, social media presence. We want you guys to upload on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, all of your effort that's putting, that you're putting into this and perhaps design a video that you can showcase at the end to kind of show your journey from the beginning to the end. We want to see what you guys learned and how you went about learning it. So that's a brief overview into, into the four games we have here. Um, again, we'll have a more fleshed out version of this in the documentation that you can read about. Now I want to show you Choreograph. Choreograph is a software that we developed to help program the robot that we're going to give you guys in order to, to accomplish these tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that interface. All right, so I've pulled up Choreograph here. So a lot of things to keep in mind. I'm going to briefly go over the different menus here, and then I'm going to show you a bit of example programming that you can do for your now. So in the middle here, this is always going to be consistent. This is our programming region. This is kind of the canvas for what your program is going to start and stop at. Now, it's not going to make much sense right now, but as we get into it, you'll see what I mean. On the left here, we have something called the box library. This box library is basically a list of pre-programmed behaviors for the now. Now, there is a lot of different folders and a lot of options here. For example, we can see in the audio folder, we have uh, a bunch of different voice commands. We can have the robot say something. We give the robot listen. We can set the language, so on and so forth. We have motion. So if you want the robot to sit down or stand up, we can have it do that. And this is all basically pre-programmed, so you don't have to go through all the series of motions to do that. So we want you to, when you get your hands on the software, just take a look around and see exactly all the things that you can do with this. There's a lot of a lot of things that we took care of for you. In our workshops, we're going to go ahead and actually show you a very detailed version of Choreograph and all the intricacies behind it. So on the right here, we have the robot view. And right now, mine is hooked up to uh, my physical now here. However, you can connect to a virtual robot. So if you don't have a physical robot, you can connect and then basically program on a three-dimensional version of now. This is why we say you don't actually have to have the robot in order to participate in this competition. Yeah, it's nice, and when the competition uh, finale happens, you will hook up and connect your programs to a physical robot that we provide on site. But in order to test and program up until that point, the virtual robot should suffice. We have a bunch of other views here. So if you, for example, the video monitor, if you want to see what your robot is doing, what's seeing out of its video camera, you can check that out here. Hello. So again, I'm not going to go over all of this. I'm going to let you guys, when you download the software, play around with it and experiment for yourselves. All The main takeaway point is you're going to use a lot of this box library and basically program in this middle region. So what I'm going to do is do a couple example programs just to give you uh, a feel for how this works. So for example, if I want my, if I want my robot to say something, I'm going to use a say box. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to drag it, and I can just click and hold and then release in the middle area. It puts a box there for me. So you'll see this box has a couple different attributes. It has um, a couple small boxes on the left, one on the right, as well as a wrench. This wrench, you can set different parameters. Uh, so certain boxes you can uh, basically alter different effects for them. So for this, if I wanted to change the voice shaping or the speed at which it says it, I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at default. So the these small boxes on the left, these are called inputs. So, for example, if I want this box to play, I want to hook up a wire to this input. This black triangle symbolizes uh, a way to start this box, to play this box. So in order for my program to play this, I have to basically create a line from here. This is our global start. When we hit play, when we start our program, it's going to send a signal from this line, from this play button, to anything that it is connected to. And by connected, I mean you're physically going to drag a line from here into here. So if I 
mouse over this, you'll see that it has a blue trim. That means it's able to be docked there. So if I release, it now creates that connection for me. And I can move this box around, and it'll maintain that string there. So what this is saying is, when I press play for my behavior, this is the play button here, it's going to send a signal from here into here and play that for me. <coughs> now, if I want to see what this box does, I can double click it and I can see there's some, some text inside. Let's say I want to modify this a little bit and uh, be a little more creative. Let's just say, hello, now, challenge participants. And that's going to pass this into the save text box, and it's going to go out. So if I want to organically end my program, I'm going to hook up this output. So when this box plays, so it does what it needs to do, it's going to finish, and I'm going to tell the entire program to stop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see what happens. Let me make sure the volume on our robot is up. It is. So let's go ahead and hit play. Hello, now challenge participants. Okay, so the robot successfully said hello, now challenge participants. You can visually see a signal that, that is being sent to and from the say box, and then our program ends when we see that signal being sent here. So I want to do something a little more interactive. So let's say, for example, I want to have him wave hello while or right after he says hello, now challenge participants. I'm going to go down to my motions, animations category, drag out a hello box. This is an animation. And when my robot finishes saying hello, I'm going to say, have him wave hello. And then I want him to end. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Now watch the webcam and watch the virtual robot and make sure that they're doing the same thing. Hello, now All right, so we can see and hear that the robot says, hello, now challenge participants. It displays that above the simulated version of the now. So again, when you're doing this at home, if you don't have the physical now, you can still see that text box above him to verify that he's saying what you're expecting him to say. And then we see both the simulated and the physical version of the robot acting out that command. So that is our brief foray into Choreograph. Again, if you want to learn more about this, you can check out our documentation. We're going to be doing workshops out in Colorado and hopefully more webinars. So you can go ahead and follow along and gain some more knowledge on how to use this. Okay, so I've pulled up the website for the Now Challenge USA. So suppose you've watched this video, you're pumped up, you're excited, and you want to join. So if you want to figure out more information on, on what to do, how to go from here, go ahead and go to this website here, www.aldebaron.com slash en slash now challenge USA. And what you'll see here is a website that kind of outlines a lot of the things I alluded to during this webinar. So you get a little more details, a bit of a brief foray into what this competition is all about. You get some, uh, some basic premises behind all the games. And the main takeaway thing is here's the rules. So if you want a more fleshed out version of what to do, you can go ahead and check out the rules here. Much more descriptive than what I talked about today. And you can use this in order to figure out not only what each competition needs to do, but also different parts of the registration process. So if you want to register, we have that outlined in the rules. You can follow that along. Uh, we have the registration form right here as well as the copyright transfer agreement. So anything else that you that you need in order to participate in this challenge, you can find on here. I hope you found this video enlightening, exciting, encouraging. Um, again, if you are interested in participating, keep in mind registration is only open until March 15th. So if you think that this is something you want to do, get a team together, send a registration form to our um, to our associate to Fen. She has our information on the on the website that I just presented to you. Again, aldebaron.com slash en slash now challenge USA. Review the information, get a team together, and let's see what you guys got. Thanks for listening. Bye.